Hi everyone and welcome back to Spring of Series 14 in Forza Horizon 5. This is Past Guest, the first seasonal championship that I'm doing in this week's festival playlist. And the car restrictions for it is Retro Rally in C-Class. And quite obviously this is going to be dirt racing. Now, for a change, I'm not doing this in public corp this time. Just when I was uh, recording footage for the PR stunts, I've been suddenly invited into a party with a few nice friends and hey, why not? I joined them and here we go, doing this seasonal champ. I'm running in the Reno 5 Turbo with Sayinus seasonal tune and as you can see, in terms of launch off the line, my car doesn't seem to be built the best way compared to my teammates, but that shouldn't be a huge problem. Let's see how we fare against the AI and my teammates this time. As you may have noticed, the car goes really slow through the water, so watch out for that. Uh, that does happen with a small and low seating rides as this one, but we managed to pass all of the AIs by now. I was just about to say almost all, but then I've seen that uh, we are almost there with the last one. So up in the third position, despite a very slow, ooh, hoo, 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 poor guy, that was a huge crash out, full 180 degrees on the road facing opposite way but uh, luckily I managed to avoid collision so we are all good there. Here is my other teammate going pretty nicely but seemed to have a little bit of a struggle with the grip in corners which does slow him down quite a bit but uh, I still need to catch up and pass if I hope to win this race. Oh that's uh, that was a big mistake, but uh, I didn't quite break this time well enough either, so my going through this corner wasn't particularly exemplary. And as you can see, the again, the launch and acceleration on his build is much, much higher than on mine, so I immediately lost some ground, but now, after a contact with the wall, I should have a good chance to sit on his bumper right here and yeah pass that's what sliding in the corners does to you quite often even in rally uh, you know where uh, sliding through the corners seem to be the way you do it but uh, a little bit excess sliding and you lose so much speed and time that you become an easy target okay that uh, was an unlucky wall am i in danger no i don't think i'm in danger so we are doing quite fine. As you can see, Sayinus tune works very, very nicely. And I have to say, just watching on my teammate uh, sliding in the corners. Now, hold on. I need to concentrate for this corner. I miss it like two times out of three, but this time I managed to go through it. So <laughs> not so much my teammates. I can see on the map there's a bit of a crashing into the wall behind me. But yeah, <clears throat> so just comparing to my teammates, I may lack the acceleration and launch of the line but i seem to have much more grip on the track and that particularly in the dirt sections of it and that really helps to keep the speed and momentum in the corners and that's what ultimately made me go from the last place to the first in this race but it was good fun so yeah uh, obviously we won the um, over AI that is to be fully expected but let's go for the second race and see what it is it's Caldera Scramble hmm right pretty compact very short track in itself when you run it uh, as a solo race outside of the seasonal championship it often has four laps just because the lap is so short but uh, in seasonal setup it's always three laps so this should go reasonably quick okay i've been pushed a little bit from the back by my teammate again because of my low acceleration of the line uh, they have serious speed advantage here in pulsar even though this nissan pulsar uh, my teammate is running is actually absolutely stock which i'm not sure it's a winning strategy because uh, uh, in stock it's uh, 
sitting at uh, I think 590 something pi so there's it's not far from the C class top limit but obviously uh, it's a stock tuning uh, which is not great and you don't really have any chance to upgrade it so <laughs> it's a funny drive right now with my teammate in front again same problem grip in the corners seems to be an issue there uh, look at this sliding so uh, yeah I managed to pass both of the uh, cars in front of me the AI and my teammate again uh, clearly due to extra grip I have this car feels absolutely phenomenal it's like on the rails I have full control of it it doesn't slide doesn't drift unless I actually want it so really kudos to Sayinu for this setup a huge pleasure to drive and this is being reflected now by the gap that is growing to my teammates <laughs> I hope they will invite me again after this because uh, I I didn't know what I'm uh, walking into uh, when joining this convoy because uh, that's the thing with the new people when you meet them you never know maybe you just you know uh, beat them reasonably easily though this time I think it's not so much due to my driving but uh, I just happened to pick up a better setup for the car really uh, because yeah it's pretty obvious they lack uh, grip in the corners but also uh, sometimes you join the convoy and you just uh, sit there at the very back finishing last and uh, leaving the race a little bit embarrassed because yeah I guess people have some sort of expectation of your performance but no so far so good I may be a little bit too far ahead but uh, nothing I can do about that uh, this is pretty nice and we are approaching the end of this race obviously the end of the uh, championship as well there's only two races because we undoubtedly beating the AI nice and easy this time that's it for the past guess seasonal championship thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it because I definitely enjoyed the driving and I'll see you in the next one